Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and the person that's on your mind. This is a general reading, so not every message here will be meant for you. Practice using discernment. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. This is for the collective And you can always take a look at your other placements. You can find some more messages there for you. And if you're interested in something a bit more personal, I will leave all of the information for a personal reading in the description box below for you guys. Okay, Libra. Let's take a look. What is going on here for my Libras? What is going on here for my Libras? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So we have the star card. This is Aquarius energy. I'm seeing that in recently you have um, started to heal. I feel like for some of you, you've been through a situation with you and your person. We have the mirror mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So I feel like you're you're getting out of a period where you've been looking for a lot of signs. You've been asking for signs or looking for signs in terms of um, your future, your love life with you and your person. So I feel like you've been looking for some sort of sign um, with the mirror, there's a situation that you have gotten out of that has been a little bit of a struggle, maybe a little bit even chaotic for some of you with you and the person on your mind, um, just not seeing eye to eye with each other. But I get that you're, this is behind you and yeah, seven of wands. So... I feel like somebody's been defensive. Somebody's been really defensive or not letting the other person in completely. Somebody has been not letting the other person in and standing their ground. I feel like for others of you, you could be in a situation where you and this person have had a lot of adversity. A situation where you two were having some sort of um, struggle and healing this this situation, healing this struggle, wounds being shown, projection. I'm hearing projection. Somebody was projecting insecurities or fears onto the other person. In your person's energy, we have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So let's take a look at the person that's on your mind, Libra. This is the person that's on your mind, Libra. The person that's on Libra's mind. Okay. Four of Cups. And Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, I see that when it comes to your person here... They haven't been totally receptive on accepting your love. So I feel like for some of you, you were trying to show this person your love. You're, you were trying to give them love. And they haven't been receiving it. They were not open to it. Or they didn't want your offer or apology here. Um, or there's something that turned this person off. Um, I feel like your person right now is in a place where... Maybe they've needed some time to be alone. Or they, there's something that they're bummed out about that's not really changing. Your person wants something to change here with this lightning. They want some, they want some changes to happen because right now they feel like things aren't really changing. And I see that this person is, is starting to take action. They're starting to take action here, especially with this King of Wands energy. This person does 
really care about you. But they're really closed off right now. They're being really closed off and it's a little bit hard to get to, to them, get through them. But this person still has a lot of love for you. But there's something else going on. Some sort of changes or shocking news that has caused your person to need to focus on possibly their careers. Maybe there was a change in their job or career. In your energy, we have talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and hoovering. So, I feel like you're really interested in talking to this person, or you're eager. You're eager to have a conversation and try to work things out here. Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you're really, your focus is on this person. Or trying to work things out here for another half of you your focus is on your career or on your work you could do something online something virtual you could do you could make money online yeah three of Pentacles I feel like you could be gaining some sort of collaboration you'll receive a text call or email that has to do with some sort of collaboration so for some of you, your focus is completely on your career, completely on your work and your finances here. And this person feels a little bit left out by you. They feel like they're being left out or not included. But I, I feel like the case is that you still want to try to work things out with this person. And you want to, I feel like you are willing to learn how to make things better or make things work. Your focus is on growth here. But I do feel like there's some sort of communications that you could be receiving coming from somebody that has to do with a collaboration or trying to work together to create something. Two of Cups. So... You have a lot of love for this person, so the feelings between you guys are mutual, but your focus right now looks like it's on your your work and your career, or you're doing some sort of learning, or I'm also hearing like apprenticeship, but you still hold love for this person, or you're willing to work on this partnership or work towards a partnership here. In the near future, we have Girl with a Snake, Empath, and Narcissist Paradigm, Ping, Charmed, or Used, and Able, and Boundaries. So let's take a look at the near future for you, Libra. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Emperor, this is Aries energy here. So, I see that in the near future, there's some sort of like abundance something in abundance or you could be coming across somebody who's very abundant somebody who has a lot of press who's very prosperous who could be an entrepreneur with this emperor energy here or that could be you you could be growing i see that there is communication coming in for you guys exciting news or a face-to-face -face conversation coming from somebody that could be an emperor somebody who likes structure somebody who likes to have um that's very strategic somebody who likes to have schedules for everything but i see that there's communication coming in here that has to do with some sort some sort of growth or a birth of something The world card, this is going to lead to a new chapter. This is a new start for you guys. And it's a new beginning. So there is a chapter that is coming to a close. But it's going to be a major completion for you guys. So I feel like you're bringing the focus a little bit onto yourself here. Um, in order to reach some sort of achievement. Or that could be your person. 
In your outcome, we have kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So let's take a look at the outcome with you and the person that's on your mind, Libra. Ooh, we have the magician. In your outcome, I see you and this person falling in love or creating something more, a deeper level of commitment with each other, falling in love, things feeling really, really good, really magical between you guys. So I see that in the outcome here. I get that something is becoming clear to you. Some sort of illusion is becoming clear so the cape is opening these curtains are starting to open something is being open to you where you're gonna have to take a risk i see somebody literally falling in love falling in love hard here and I, this could be with somebody completely new for some of you guys this could be with you could be falling in love with somebody completely new completely different you could have options in your outcome. And out of these options or choices, there's somebody who you're going to end up falling in love with and creating a deeper level of commitment. I see a very powerful, um, a really powerful connection where you're going to take a risk and you don't know whether or not you're going to end up regretting it, but you're going to do it anyways. Somebody's falling in love and somebody's taking a risk in love. So let's get some details for you guys. Let's get some details here for Libra. Libra. Fun times. So I see that there's a lot of good times ahead of you, Libra. I see you having fun, having a party, um, celebrating something in the near future. Maybe for your your you're planning something for your birthday. You or this person that you're dealing with could be a young male. Or somebody who's very abundant, somebody who has like likes nice things. Nice cars, nice clothes, somebody who's very like classy, someone who likes the finer things of life. You or this person could have children. So let's get a few more cards before I close off this reading. Is there anything else that we should know for Libra? Is there anything else that we should know for Libra? Okay. I see that for some of you, you may be taking a risk that isn't totally calculated, that you need to pay attention to the red flags. Somebody could be um, putting up an illusion or there's a need for you to slow down. This could be somebody from your past who you've recently uh, had a reconciliation with. You're attracting romantic love. So I feel like you're, especially with this magician, you're attracting some, whatever you're attracting right now, I see it happening in your outcome. But I'm hearing, be careful what you wish for. Okay, so this is what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation and thank you for watching. Bye.